It was one of the biggest nights in Bellator MMA history. Bellator 221 live on DAZN from the Allstate Arena in Rosemont, Illinois. And we started the night in the featherweight division. Undefeated Taiwan Claxton clashing with James Bennett. Wow, what a performance by Taiwan Claxton. Once he got this fight to the ground with that inside trip, take a look at the big shots that he starts landing. Posture was everything in this fight. James Bennett was unable to stop the posturing of Taiwan Claxton and got hit with huge knees, huge elbows, huge punches, and just got worn down by the end. He was not looking like the same fighter. The referee had seen enough at a certain point. He had taken too many shots, and he decided to stop this fight off of the heavy shots that Taiwan Claxton had been delivering in it. Too much. That was it. James Bennett, tough guy, but what a win for Taiwan Claxton. Claxton improves to 5-0, four wins via form of knockouts. Next up, heavyweight division. Former WWE superstar Jake Hager squaring off with TJ Jones. Hager in his sophomore effort as a professional mixed martial artist at the age of 37. The age of 37, but he has always been a very good wrestler. He's got great wrestling skills, and you can see him riding his opponent, setting up that triangle choke. He tried a couple of different Submissions wasn't able to get him, but once he got that arm triangle, that was it. Got to the side, but then decided he wasn't going to let go. He needs to learn this is a sport of competition, not of holding on to something you should not hold on. H Hager, 2-0, two, two arm triangle choke submissions to kick off his mixed martial arts career. We had A.J. McKee looking to extend the longest winning streak in Bellator history, taking on the returning former two-time featherweight champion, Pat Curran. It was A.J. McKee controlling the position and distance of this fight that caused Pat Curran a lot of problems. It was his length, the use of his kicks. Now Curran ends up getting this double leg takedown. The first time A.J. McKee was put on his back in Bellator but it wasn't the thing for him to do because he took a lot of shots. And then AJ came out, started lighting him up again, got him down to the ground. AJ McKee just ground out a victory. A good victory, but not the impressive victory he wanted. Well, still an impressive record, 14 and 0. And then in the semifinals of the Welterweight World Grand Prix, Douglas Lima against the undefeated Michael Page. The fight produced a knockout of the year candidate. Oh my God, what a shot. This was an incredible display of patience. Look at Douglas Lima get hit, but watch this leg kick. Brings it out and boom, hits that right hand. He puts Michael Page to sleep before he ever touches the ground. Those two shots didn't even have to be thrown. What a win and advancing into the welterweight Grand Prix final. Douglas, Lima, incredible. And then champion versus champion, Michael Chandler defending the lightweight title against featherweight champion, Patricio Pitbull. It was bad blood and it turned into a bad result for Michael Chandler. It didn't take long, you know, he got hit with that shot. You see him get hit right behind the ear. It takes his equilibrium away. He doesn't respond when he's on the ground. He's not out, but he's not responding in time. The referee comes in and stops it. Is it an early stoppage? Yeah, it is. But you can understand why the referee did what he did, and you can take nothing away from what Patricio Pitbull did to become a double-double champ. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com or the Bellator app. He's like the wrestler killer that, that moves like Machida. You kind of have one shot at it. I will be a champion. I'm a heel. I'm a bad guy.